So if we press test, it should ask for this. And this won't actually charge you, it's just a chest purchase. So it doesn't actually charge you your purchase of... So, uh... Hey guys, this DLTV plays back here with another video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Game Pass like a uh, developer product like prompt like ask for the so what did a develop like a Game Pass like if you click a button and it will ask for for Robux to buy it. So basically what a developer product is is a Game Pass that you can buy more than one time. So what you want to do is just get in a, get into Roblox Studio. Once you're in Roblox Studio, you want to look for Starter GUI. Click this big white plus button right here. Then click on screen GUI and then click the big white plus button on the screen GUI and put a text button alright so once you have the text button in you can move it around and stuff you can put it wherever you want you can change the size and to change what the text says on it, you basically want to do like, so let's do like, let's do like, let's just call it test because I don't know what I'm going to do it for. And there's this big thing I'd recommend when you put, when you add the text to the button. I would recommend going to text scaled because then it'll just do that. Alright, so once you have this button here, what you want to do is go to so what you want to do is go to Google Chrome. So you want to go to Google, you want to, actually I know a better way, so, you go to Roblox Studio, click on File, click on Publish to Roblox, just your, name your game, Product Tutorial, so you can name it whatever you want, I'm just trying to do this, alright, so, Put the description and choose a genre. Press create. Once you've pressed create, click on this again. And then you want to click. Yeah. So you want to click. So once you've done that, you want to, so like it will show up on Chrome, on Google Chrome, so go to Google, reload your develop page if you're not on that page, click create, and then click, and then click this right next to your thing, click configure start place, configure start place, click developer products, and click create new, name it test tutorial product. I cannot spell right today. Type in your description, type in the price of Robux, for example, 20 Robux, and then click create. Then highlight this number click control C or you can right click and click copy and then hit save so then once you've done that you want to so 
So once you've done that, this is what you want to do. So let me just create this. Click local script. So I'll be right back. So once you've done that, and so, so what you want to do after you do that is go to Roblox Studio. So you want to click the plus button on text button, click local script, then you want to start scripting. Alright, so once you've done that, you want to do script dot parent dot mouse button one click Con colon connect function and then game dot marketplace service colon prompt product purchase then game dot players dot local player game players dot players dot local player comma and then input your product ID control V or you can just right click paste and then you should have something that says end right there so if we press play then it should work so if we press test it should ask for this and this won't actually charge you it's just a chest purchase so it doesn't actually charge you your purchase of so uh yeah so you can also make your game pass like do something like give you an item i might do a tutorial on that so yeah i might do a tutorial on that so you can also just make it a donation if you don't if you're kind of lazy and don't want to watch some other video or wait for my video of it to come out you can just make it a donation button just watching this tutorial could just give you a donation button on your game but remember to have roblox studio you have to have windows 10 or mac so guys thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and bye